So here, what I have on my hand is a setup sheet. So using our offline software, we can make the program in the office, bring it to the machine, either using the flash drive or the server, and print this setup sheet out, which has the um, brief 3D sketch, the 2D sketch, and the details of the each band. And also, it's gonna generate this barcode automatically for us. Mm -hmm. So what the operator should do after getting his part with the setup sheet is come to this screen, come to search, and scan the barcode using the reader at the bottom of the machine. And it'll call up the program. You'll choose and hit enter. Once it's done, okay. it's gonna skip the programming phase because that's already done when we are making this program. And we're ready to go using the setup. We'll hit start. And it will give you a estimate time, which is one minute and 40 seconds for this four stage um, layout. Okay, before we start, because mm -hmm. it'll start going as soon as you hit that, right? Yes. Okay, I'm going to switch to over here so that we can see the ATC Got it. in action. Okay. And see the tooling go to their proper place. Okay, thank okay. you. Okay, here I go. Here we are. So once I hit the start button, what it's, what's going to do first is the shutter will come down ah. to prevent the operator accidentally falling into the machine and get, getting injured while the tool change is happening. Interesting, because that, that shuttle that brings it over is a, a decently heavy and fast yes. piece of machinery like you just saw there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. And this shutter itself also has a sensor. So if the shutter somehow goes up or someone forces the shutter to move up, then mm -hmm. the tool change will stop as well. Okay. Interesting look at the long tooling being yeah. set up there. Yes, this ATC unit, um, same with the HG ATC, but if you have a long sections, it's gonna bring the entire rack inside it at once to reduce the setup time. Okay, yep. Thanks. So it's about one minute and 40 seconds. So when, right. the when the operator, for example, if this was his second part, he can bring the finished part to either the welding department or powder coating department. By the time he comes back, the tool setup is already done and he's ready to move on to his next job. I mean, compare that to um, what it would be manually to set that up. Um, if, if we know where all the tools are, and if we have all the tools, it will take maybe like 10 minutes, 15 right. minutes. But if we have to search for all the tools, it will be taking maybe 30 minutes, depending exactly. on. Yeah. And that's another good thing about the ATC unit, because we know yeah. where all the tools are, and it will, be, it will be always there. Also, we can keep the tools clean as well. Oh yeah, because they never come out in the environment. Yes. Nobody's carrying them around or God forbid dropping yes. something. Yeah. Exactly. So what I did so far to do the tool change is to scan the barcode using the setup sheet from the offline software and hit the, bu hit the button and wait for one minute and 40 seconds. Okay. So now that was the, a pretty easy part of our job, right? Yes. <laughs> mm -hmm. And next? So once I'm done with the tool set up, mm -hmm. I'm going to go come to this run screen. All right. So this is going to be the run screen. Oh, I see. Yeah. Yes. And the, the, there are some differences between the 3i versus the 4ie control. All right. But um, we try to make them um, very, very similar. So Compatible, yeah. Yeah. So people who already knows how to use the 3i can easily move on to the 4i. That's very good of you to think about the operators that way. Yeah. And if, because we already have the 3D models, it knows how we, we should be presenting the part to the tools. Ah, there's your part right there. Okay. Yes. We can have this top view. We can zoom in, zoom out. Side view. Before bend, after bend. That's right, just getting the close up here. No problem. And then we can also come back to this ISO view. And if the, if the operator prefers different views, then he can always rotate to his most efficient angles that he thinks and start from there. Ah, okay. Yep. But I yep. like the ISO view, so I'll start with here. Okay. So once I hit start, what they will do is... Oh, and here come the... Uh 
the bend angle sensors. Mm -hmm. And because this machine has the smart operation package, if you see the panel here, this is the dive view okay. of what's, what we're seeing right now. So if I put my hand in here, ah. you can see my hands. So this is the uh, the thing that's on the ceiling of the inside of the press brake. Exactly. Sir. And it's the iCast cam, right? Mm -hmm. One of the iCast cams. Yes, it comes okay. with the smart operation package, yes. Good. And we also see a red shadow around here, and that represents the part that we are going to be um, bending. So if I put the part correct, Oh, right, I see it. Yeah. You're going to see on the screen, you're going to see that. Okay. If I put the part... it will match up so the opera can uh, okay. easily identify if he's gauging the part correctly or not if he put it so oh, yeah it's pretty very very obvious for the opera to see he's doing something wrong yeah cool all you. right and this this uh this thing moves too right yes and uh, along with the foot pedal exactly sir so which is right down there yeah from bend to bend um the foot, automatic foot pedal down there and this panel will move side to side okay so if you have a setup well like we do here we have three stations mm -hmm. that were set up to and i'm sure that'll uh, that'll move at some point so oh yes and if and also if you want to move this panel itself right now yeah i can change that easily by hitting the option and choosing the location of the tablet as well Oh, just like you put cord. Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Yes, it's pretty easy for the operator to move side to side, especially when you are bending a part that already has a return flange yeah. and you know it's going to hit the panel, the operator can move the, move the tablet. Ah, sure. So it will not break. Okay. Uh, but that's really, I mean, that it's kind of a product design with the operator in mind. So that's good. Okay. So um, I'll be bending this part, and like you see here, I, I will use these two back gauge as my normal back okay. gauge, and I can use this right three as my side stop as well. So every single time when I'm bending apart, I will have a zero zero position. Okay. So when I will, I will start oh, bending sorry. apart. Oh no. That's my our normal bend. Okay. Right there. You saw that the panel moved. Oh, panel, wow, everything, everything moved. yeah, it came over, including yes. the foot pedal. Mm -hmm. and, and then the HMI monitor. Yes. And because I also have the side stop here, I know I'm going to be gauging exactly there. Okay. Especially nice when you already have a side change, you don't have to guess yeah. um, where to put the part. And that's the bend indicator. Oh, okay, sure. And everything Man, perfect the first time, yeah. Yes. Okay. And while the bend indicator is doing the angle adjustment, you will see the current angle first and the final uh, final adjustment uh -huh, okay. on the screen as well. Oh yeah, there it is. And that's a readout it's getting from yep, from the from the uh, BIS, right? Yes. Okay. This is the actual feedback. And based on that feedback, mm -hmm. it's automatically moving the dies up or down depending on what it has to what has to happen. Yes. So what's yeah. happening um, when, while we're bending the part is that um, the machine will bend the part to about um, 92 degrees. Okay. And it will put pressure and it will release to calculate how much spring back. Spring back, has. right? Yeah. Yes. And okay. it will calculate the actual spring back that the BI is experiencing and it will give a feedback to the cylinder to yeah. make an adjustment yeah. and keeping on keep on doing that until it reaches to the tolerance of the targeted angle. Pretty cool. Oh yeah, so here we go. You can see you can see it move when it's doing that. Yeah. And this will be a um nice part about the three fingers because our next bend line is across here okay we have to um when we gauge from this side with two back gauge it wiggles a lot so it, yeah. the operator will have to maybe eyeball it or it'll have he will have pretty hard time um defining where the bend line is but yeah. because i have the or we have the three point package from now on yeah we can gauge the part 
and because there's three point that's already oh, aging. Oh, I art. see. Yeah. Oh wow. Yeah, I can see that. Yes, it's really being handy. Yeah. Yes. So, if I bring the lamp down, if I bring the lamp down, I will check if I'm engaging the part correctly. Yep. And I can press bend. Again. Okay. And also, not only the back gauge monitor, but if you hit the 3D mode, you can see the action, um, the screen that's on get a the close up on that. You can see on the different angle as well. Like we saw the top view, zoom in, zoom out, before bend, after bend, or the ISO view as well. Wow. And it will tell you which gauging position of the back gauge that you should gauge off of. Okay, yeah. So, that being said, you'll side in the part. I have the zero zero position. Wow. Wow. So, yeah, this is um, without me doing any angle adjustments. Yeah. I let the BI do all the angle adjustments, and all the adjustments that's done by the BI will be saved on the control. So, that back gauge and the auto controls mm -hmm. really made a difference in that because I just saw. If we can look at these two bends, one was oh, at 150 degrees, one was 120 degrees, something like that, right? Yeah. Here's 150 and 120, uh, or do I have that wrong? No, here's uh, I think this. That's maybe one. I will say, yep, this bottom portion is 150 and yeah. it's only 120. Yeah, okay. So really amazing, I mean, to have that kind of control and not have to worry about, like you said, eyeballing it or... Oh yes, yes, this, yeah. this machine made our life so much easier when bending the parts. Yeah, yeah, okay, good. Yeah. So that's part number one is done. We're gonna do another part in just yes. a moment.